So assalamu alaikum and Alaykum good salam afternoon salam. everyone. So thank you Mr. Chairman for the introduction. So I am Faiz Saleh from Faculty of Engineering. So first of all, mm -hmm. I would, we would like to express our gratitude to ADEC for providing us the grant to conduct the study on introduction of hackathon in formal learning process for improving students' design capability. So before I proceed to my presentation, I would like to explain a little bit on the background of our study. So in the Faculty of Engineering, we have a subject that we call as a integrated design project where the student need to use their engineering knowledge to solve a real problem by developing a product that can solve that problem. So in this subject, which related to uh, undergraduate student, the third year student, so they will group into a group which consists around three to four students, not more than five students. And then they will select a title, the title which was given either by the lecturer or from the industry, or even they can came out by uh, themselves. And then by uh, using a systematic design process, they need to provide a solution to the problem statement that they have brainstorming inside the subject. And then they will come out with a proposal and then present their proposal and then they need to develop a product. And at the end of the subject, they need to demonstrate the product that will solve the problem which related to the title itself. However, usually the student will, save, uh, will face some difficulties when they were asked, what is the significance of the project or what is your problem statement? Yes, the student can explain what their problem statement, but usually their problem statement is quite vague, it's very wide or it's not very specific and sometimes it's not very impact with the title itself. For example, like if we consider a chair, then we ask the consumer or the needs of the stakeholder that they cannot sit at the chair for a long time. And when we ask them, uh, what is the reason? Because the chair is not uh, comfortable. Maybe some student will take uh, the problem statement as a uncomfortable chair that they want to improve. But if we want to make a good design, so we need to have a specific problem statement. For example, like the design is not suitable for the backbone of the human, for example, or the material use are very stiff, for example. It's not very accurate example, but there are some points that I want to uh, deliver to you all that uh, there are some faces, difficulty that they face when we ask what is the significance of the project or what is the real problem statement that, we, that they want to tackle. And then if we ask how your solution efficiently solve your problem, so usually the student uh, can, can, can answer the question, but they cannot compare with the other type of solution because the student tends to provide only one solution. But when we have a, a good design process, we will come out in the several concepts and then we can we will check the concept, how many it tackle the specification that we need and that from we have a, 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 what we call it a, a, a systematic uh, selection, for example, like the matrix and so on. So we will come out a good one solution and then if we ask them why you choose this technique or solution to solve your problem so sometimes the student we think will take time to answer this question because just like i said that when uh, they provide the solution they tend to be to provide only one solution and usually they think how to choose the solution is go back to what is the problem statement without going the systematic design process for example, like the needs of the uh, market, the needs of the consumer and the product specification or the concept generation or the concept generation and testing and how to uh, provide the real solution. So if I summarize this kind of problem, we can say that uh, this kind of uh, project based learning of this integrated design project, the student have the lack of the design consideration and then they have lack of involvement and consideration of the appropriate stakeholders 
and also they have the lack of exposure on the needs of the market. For example, like you can see in this picture that uh, there are several type of design of a chair and we can see that the left uh, chair have no hand uh, support or in the middle one have the hand support. So we cannot say that in the middle one is the best solution for time, but it depends on the market need and the target of the consumer that we want to tackle. For example, this chair might be suitable for the school children and so on, and this might be suitable for the business or the office use. So in order to tackle this kind of problem, we would like to introduce Hackathon in our integrated design project. So as I think, as you all know that the Hackathon is a popular industry practice in which it provides an efficient way for producing prototype from systematic conceptualized idea outside the project schedule. So usually for the Hackathon, it will con uh, consist of brainstorming, pitching, time frame, competition and interaction. So inside the brainstorming, the student uh, we throw out the idea and narrow down the idea by using the uh, systematic technique, for example, like the SWOT analysis or the brainstorming, the brain mapping and so on. And then the pitching, uh, usually we will con uh, call some uh, expert, in, uh, expert in the field to criticize what is the solution for them to improve the solution that, we, that, that, that they have proposed. And in the short time frame, it also push the student to throw out the solution or to provide the solution uh, more faster. And then they have get uh, a, a wider overview because sometimes the student, when we teach uh, by time for a long time, they, they, they happen to forget what or they, they happen to not to see in the big picture. So in the hackathon, when the short time frame, they wish uh, see on the overall picture and then uh, they can uh, understand more what they need to do. And then uh, we make it in terms of the competition to uh, push the interest of uh, the students. And then we also promote the interaction between the industrial expert and some relevant stakeholders. And there are some studies that have uh, applied the hackathon in the formal learning process and this uh, Gamma ETF have uh, used the hackathon in the final year project where they have, they face a problem that the student provide the solution for a long time. It's take a long time to provide a solution and they, they want to, uh, the student to gain the knowledge based on the practice and also the learning from one another. So what they have found that uh, the strict time of the hackathon will uh, speed the process or to help them to narrow down the idea to find the solution and they have also found that uh, when we when we do, do they, when, when they do this uh, not all the group will correctly apply the design technique or design process but it helped in the some sort of extent so Like. So we want to uh, introduce the hackathon in our integrated design project. So we have throw out some of research questions. The first one is how hackathon influence the ability of the student to systematize the conception of ideas to be transformed into solution. And then how can hackathon improve the involvement and interaction between appropriate stakeholders and how engineering students will perceive the benefit of hackathon in their formal learning process. So in order to answer this question, not all, but maybe some part of the question, we have set our objective. The first one is to conduct a hackathon with involvement of appropriate stakeholders. And then we would like to clarify the influence of hackathon in improving the student design process ability. And then we want to evaluate the, inf the influence of hackathon on making uh, the integrated design project course more engaging and interactive. 
So how we do this? The first one, the implementation of hackathon. So we make a one day hackathon. So as you all know that the hackathon can be maximum around three days, two or three days. But we choose a one day hackathon, which was held in the early semester. And we collaborate with CRAS and we take the CRAS hackathon format to do the hackathon. And then we evaluate the hackathon effectiveness by conducting uh, interview and survey prior and post the hackathon in order to, uh, to, to check how they perceive themselves and their design knowledge. And then we compare uh, the specific design rubric element in their uh, evaluation in the final semester, in, in the final uh, end of the course. So by comparing the evaluated rubric in their final presentation with the previous batch, which does not have hackathon in their formal learning. So this is our sample. So in this time, we have 34 groups, which contain third year undergraduate students, and each group contain around four, four students. And then they will form the group and select the supervisor with a project title. And then after that, they will have a supporting lecture the first seven weeks which in this supporting lecture mainly will introduce them on the product design and development, especially on how to identify the customer needs, the product specification, the concept generation, concept selection and testing, and so on. And then in the first semester, they need to present the proposal. And in between, uh, they will start to develop their prototype and we also have given some budget for them. And then in the second semester or the, the end of the subject, they will present the prototype uh, to the evaluators, internal and also from the industry. So what we do to improve the design ability of the student that we introduce hackathon before they learn uh, in detail about the design process. So we want to expose the student the overall or the big picture on how to design a good prototype that can solve the problem that they have came up. So this is uh, the detail of what we have uh, done on the hackathon. So as I just explained that we make a one day hackathon adopting the CRAS hackathon format, which consists a lecture on design process technique is not in detail but in brief and then we have a brainstorming session for them to prepare the proposal of their pro uh, the project the prototype and then we have the pitching session with the industrial expert so we have done it in uh, i think if i'm not mistaken in around week two or week three in the first semester uh, in the september last year and then this is some picture shows uh, the crash person that give uh, the, the design process technique. And this picture show us the uh, brainstorming session. So inside the brainstorming, so they brainstorm together with their group. And we also uh, allocate a facilitator over there to some extent to guide the brainstorming process. And then this is uh, picture shows us the pitching session with the industrial expert. So, as I said that uh, in order to clarify the effectiveness of the hackathon, we have uh, done the survey and also the interview prior and the post uh, after, before and after the hackathon was held. So this is uh, some result of the prior and post analysis. So we have uh, construct uh, several questions. The first one is to clarify what they think or what they uh, perceive uh, of the hackathon influence on the on their design ability and on their how their idea can become into solution and the interest in the learning so this uh, part shows uh, the numbers of the student before or the prior the hackathon and this shows the numbers of the student after the hackathon so if you can see here that the numbers of the student that answer yes, for example, the first question, do you think the hackathon improve your design ability? So prior to the hackathon, just 15 student, 50 students said yes. 
and after the hackathon is increased to 98 and conceptualize the idea into solution also increase from 49 into 85 and if it's motivate or increase your interest in learning is also increased from 49 uh, into 89 so this is uh, the set of question that we want to see uh, the influence of the hackathon uh, in 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 general or in uh, if we see on more detail uh, on the interview for especially on the design ability we can see that uh, the student answer that they can consolidate their ideas and then they can have a multiple idea and then they can have the real objective so they know that what is the problem statement? What is the objective they need to set up to tackle the real problem statement? And then if we see from the interest in the learning, so we can see that in the short time frame, uh, the hackathon can push their progress and then can push their effort and force them to generate idea. And then with the involvement of the uh, industry and also the lecturer, we also can see that the hackathon successfully uh, involve an appropriate uh, involvement between the industry and also the lecturer. So if we see on more detail on uh, the design process itself, for example, we have set a several question regarding uh, the rubrics of the design process. For example, the first one to clarify the problem statement and explain its significance. So we can see that the prior hackathon, the number of the student answer yes is around 48 and it increased after the hackathon is around 104. And if we see when they want to uh, provide the solution, did they consider any stakeholders or the market needs? We can see also it increased into 94. and. The numbers of product or the solution concept that they have generated, which is more than two, because this is quite important, as I just said in the uh, background of the study, that the student uh, tend to provide only one solution. So they did not provide many concepts and choose from the concept the best solution. So we can see that uh, through the hackathon, uh, the student can uh, provide the concept more than two increase uh, into 64. So we also have just I uh, explained in the methodology, we also had compare uh, the specific design element uh, which was evaluated by the industrial expert in their final presentation or final demonstration. So this graph shows us the percentage of the student which have successfully the blue color, moderate, the yellow color, and poor, the red color. So we have uh, clarified into three rubrics, the complexity of the design problem, where if the students successfully demonstrate sophisticated ideas for the design integrating core areas and meeting specific needs with appropriate consideration, or the and the second one is the quality of the design solution and product. Is the student successfully able to identify quality design solution? And then the third one is the design structure approach. If the student successfully use appropriate modern tools and basic engineering principle in development of the design. So we can see here that in these three elements of the rubrics, people or the student which have the hackathon compared to the previous batch we don't have hackathon in their formal learning process we can see that the successfully demonstrate able to identify and use the appropriate model to increase compared to the previous student so for the first element we can see here hackathon without hackathon hackathon without hackathon and same the design structure approach uh, with the hackathon the uh, percentage of the student successfully use the appropriate modern tool is increased compared to the previous batch. So we can say from this analysis that there are improvement in their design ability and maybe some uh, uh, of 
you may say that this is just from the side of the industrial expert. So we also have compare with the internal evaluator, uh, which also evaluate same these uh, three elements, the complexity of the design problem, quality of the design solution, and also the design structure. So if we consider in the whole, uh, we can see that when we compare the student with the hackathon and without the hackathon, uh, there is an increase both in uh, by the moderators and also by the supervisor evaluation. So we can say that it is in agreement with the uh, evaluation done by the industrial expert. We also have uh, take the self evaluation by the student. So Dr. this is yes. like you doing it. Uh -uh. So we have take from the uh, cost outcome analysis and we have found that uh, if you can see from this graph, very good, the blue one, uh, the outer side is the hackathon and the inner side is the without the hackathon. So we can see that all the design rubrics, uh, the, the bash with the hackathon is increase uh, their design abilities. So I conclude my talk. The first one about the implementation of the hackathon. So we have successfully uh, held a one day hackathon for a team with the crash. And from the evaluation of the hackathon effectiveness from the survey and also the interview, uh, it consider uh, the student design ability is improved and we can promote the interaction and involvement between uh, related stakeholders and increase the interest in the learning. And with the comparison of the specific rubrics element from the evaluation by internal, external and also the student themselves, we can conclude that the student abilities in design the solution are improved. So that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thank you very much Dr. Faiz. Thank you.